When the New Orleans Saints kick off their preseason football this Saturday, a fifth-round pick is going to be the player that all eyes are towards when it comes to Saints fans. That's right, I'm talking about Spencer Rattler. Why there's so much intrigue surrounding the rookie quarterback, we'll talk about it right here on the Straight Up Saints podcast. You're listening to the Straight Up Saints podcast. What is up, Houdet Nation? Welcome back inside another edition of the Straight Up Saints podcast. I'm your host, Chris Rosvoglu. And as always, we're brought to you by Scott Fickner, Injury Lawyers. You've been injured in any kind of accident, car, truck, 18-wheeler, or hurt offshore. Scott Fickner handles it all. Give him a call at 504-500-1111 for a free consultation. They'll always fight for the win. We are also presented by Crystal How New Orleans does flavors so as always guys if you enjoy our content here at buku media make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get alerted for new episodes like this we greatly appreciate it and with the preseason starting this weekend obviously that brings the return of post game live streams yeah they probably won't be as exciting as regular season live streams but we will be in there as soon as it goes final to talk about what went down our thoughts on the game and more importantly share your thoughts in the comment section and we'll pull them up as the live streams go if you guys have done it before you know how fun it can get so hopefully we'll see you guys there on saturday night after the saints game finishes so let's talk about that preseason game i'm not here to give you a prediction for a preseason opener and all that what i am here to talk about though is rookie quarterback Spencer Rattler. Because I think Spencer Rattler is by far the most intriguing player on this roster heading into the preseason. Because here's the reality. The preseason's where we're going to see Spencer Rattler play. I don't expect to see him in the regular season. Uh, I don't know if we'll even see him next regular season. No, I, I think for Spencer, he is a young quarterback with a lot of arm talent, but also has a lot to learn and grow from. And I think for Saints fans, especially us right now, who have been through, uh, I don't want to say like the worst time ever, but a, 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 I'd say a somewhat boring period of Saints football. We're looking for that sense of hope. We're looking for the person to save the franchise, per se. Someone to get us through that kind of dark period that the Saints have been through. And it might not be Spencer Rattler. But the reality is Spencer Rattler is the most talented quarterback the Saints have had in a good minute. And when it comes to arm talent, he does things that you really can't teach. Now, that doesn't necessarily equate to him being a good quarterback. And just because he has a really good arm doesn't mean that he's going to become the franchise guy for the Saints. He could go out on Saturday, look terrible, and stink it up the entire preseason, and the Saints go, well, we know he's not the answer. But the fact that we don't know, and all we've heard is that he's getting better in training camp, and we see that the arm talent's there, and he's the willingness to learn, and he's already kind of had that humbling moment in his career, which some people might think that's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing for him that young in his career to go through what he went through at Oklahoma and realize, you know, especially when you play the quarterback position, there, there can't be selfishness. There, there needs to be that ability to check your ego. There needs to be that ability and that desire to get better each and every day. I think that could go a long way for him. And again, I, I don't know if Spencer's going to be the guy. I can't, I don't even know if he's going to be QB too. You know, Jake Hayner might go out Saturday and look so much better than Spencer Rattler that the Saints are like, yeah, hey, we kind of seen what we need to see at QB two. I don't expect that to be the case. I expect them both to battle and have some really good throws here and there, but that could happen. But let's talk about Spencer Rattler. Us Saints fans, we know how good it is when you got an elite quarterback. I mean, we we were spoiled by Drew Brees for 15 years. You know what it, you know what elite is. We know it, and when you see it, you can sense it. And I don't know if Spencer Rattler is going to be that. But Spencer Rattler, for him, when it comes to the talent, he's not just another day three quarterback. He is a day three quarterback in draft status, but in talent, I think he's better than day three. And I know there was maturity questions, concerns about his height. Uh, I would argue that when you look at the tape, sometimes his, his, sometimes his footwork is inconsistent. But these are coachable things. And I'm again, I'm not going to go out here and tell you Saints fans to buy a Spencer Rattler jersey today. I, I can't do that. that. That's ridiculous. But what I can say is, there is no player more exciting to watch this preseason than Spencer Rattler, not just because he is a rookie, but the fact that he plays the most important fo uh, position in football. And like I said, he could go out and stink. But what if he goes out there Saturday against the Arizona Cardinals and he lights it the fuck up? And all of a sudden, for the first time in three years, us Saints fans actually feel like, Maybe they do have a young quarterback who can be the guy of the future on the roster. And I'm, again, I don't know if that's going to happen. But I think there's a different feel with him 
than there is a guy like Ian Book. And I'm sorry I just threw a stray at Ian Book, but Ian Book never felt like, man, he's got the talent to be a starter in the NFL. I think Spencer does have the talent to be a starter in the NFL. Everything else needs to follow through. You know, you know, footwork needs to be better. Uh, you know, sensing the pocket around you needs to be better. I get that. But there is something with this kid where he is special and he does get it from a talent standpoint. And I think that's freaking exciting. And look, we've been through an offseason where the Saints didn't make a lot of moves. Their first round pick was an offensive tackle. They kept the coach that 90.99.9% of the fan base didn't want anymore. So they didn't make a lot of moves this offseason that, that made us sit here and start dancing on tables and getting really fucking excited because they just didn't do it. They kind of just went, like that. But Spencer Rattler was the one player that they added this offseason that I said people, for good or bad, stopped and said, okay, wait a second. That's interesting. And you can go off views from when the Saints draft him. Every podcast Saints related that put out Spencer Rattler stuff knows you got some good views when Spencer Rattler got drafted. Better than anyone else. And there is that palpable excitement around him. So I think, look, I'm curious to see how Holker looks at tight end. I'm curious to see Mims at running back, the young DBs in this room like Kool-Aid McKintry. How does Fuaga look? All those things are interesting to me, and, and they're going to matter. Don't, don't, don't for a second think that I'm only saying Spencer Rattler matters this preseason. He doesn't. But he is the most interesting one, because what if he goes out there and he lights it up and now the Saints might say, you know what? This is the last year that we deal with Derek Carr, and we can move on after that. Like, there, there is that window where you can buy into some optimism for the Saints. And we haven't had that feeling in, like, two years, maybe even three. But it, it, it could be here. So that's why Spencer Rattler is the most interesting one to me. And also, I mean, the Saints are in a really nice backup quarterback position right now where you got Jay Kaner and Spencer Rattler. And usually backup quarterback battles are freaking boring, man. You got like a young guy and then an aging vet. And usually the aging vet wins because the young guy just isn't ready. In this particular example, the Saints have two younger guys who do have potential. I think Jake Hayner is a gamer. And I think Spencer Rattler is a baller. And I think you're going to have two guys out there that are going to absolutely battle the hell out. And from a potential and youth standpoint, that's a really good spot to be in. If one of these guys ends up being your QB2 and earn that shit, that matters for the Saints. Because it's Derek Carr and then what? And even with Derek Carr, yeah, Derek Carr is the undisputed QB1 for this year. But there's not a, a big percentage of the fan base that wants him to be QB1 this year. And then past this year, it gets even smaller. So I think for New Orleans, it's such an interesting spot. But none more interesting than the QB2 spot. Because if one of these young cats goes out there and they earn that position and they look damn good in the preseason, then we have the conversation. We have the conversation about what is their future in New Orleans after this year. Like, can they take that next step? They went from QB3 to QB2, and they go to QB1. You naturally have that discussion. And if one of those guys wins QB2, and the quarterback, the starting quarterback struggles, or God forbid the starting quarterback gets hurt because the offensive line is not exactly very talented, they might have to step up. And then what happens? That's interesting to me as well. So, look, I don't know how this preseason is going to play out for the Saints. I really don't. And preseason is not a, an indicator of how good you're going to be in the regular season. So I understand that. But we've seen before young quarterbacks go out there, light it up in the preseason. And then people go, you know what, man? Like, they're, they're pretty good. I think of Dak. I think of Russell Wilson with Seattle. I mean, Matt Flynn was supposed to be the starter there. And Russell Wilson lit it up. And they were like, all right, you know what? There's your starter. So I'm not saying that's going to happen. I don't think Rattler or Hayner will be the starter this year. It's Derek Carr's job. I don't there's no question about it. Right now, Derek Carr is the best quarterback on this roster. So I don't want to get that mixed up. But if you're looking for optimism, if you're looking for excitement, Spencer Rattler in the preseason, how does he perform? I cannot wait to see how that all unfolds. Because for the first time in a long time, he's got a quarterback who can fucking sling it. And he's young. So we'll see how that all plays out. Could be good. Could be bad. We'll see on Saturday night. Let me know your thoughts below, though. How do you feel about Spencer Rattler? Are you excited to watch him in the preseason? Are you indifferent? Are your expectations low, high, in the middle? Put it in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you. And as always, guys, we'll have more content here on the Straight Up Saints podcast, the destination for the Houdat Nation.